Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In a previous session, we have seen that how to display the records from a data grid view control to a text box, a radio button, and the combo box, like this. And here we will discuss how to delete the records when a particular row I will select from a grid view and click on this delete button. So records should be removed from a SQL Server table and also it will be removed from a grid view control. I'm going to stop my application and first I need the button click event of a delete. So first of all I am going to fire a delete query and it will remain same as per the insert that we have done earlier in the videos. I am going to remove this query and write down the delete statement. So delete uh, from employee where id equals to. So uh, we are going to delete the record based on this id field. Here I am going to do some necessary changes like employee deleted successfully and now I will get the id's value like this uh, see I am going to declare a variable publicly like uh, integer sorry integer id and this id this variable i am going to store the id which will come from the sql server table so when i will select a particular row from a grid view then in a id variable i need a all the IDs one by one so row dot cells of and ID will be there in a zeroth index in the grid view because in the first position of a select statement I am going to give a ID so your rows dot cells of zero dot value semicolon now id variable is integer type so i need to convert this into integer so for it i need to write convert dot to int 32 bracket start and in the last i'm going to over this bracket so when i will select a particular row from a grid view that id will be stored in this id variable and it is in a zeroth index so my employee name will be there in now first index uh, mobile number will be in a second index address will be in a third index radio button value will be there in a fourth index and combo box value will be there in a fifth index so the necessary changes is done here and now delete from employee where id it is a name of the field and now you need to pass the variable so i need to write the variable in a double plus plus double as per the syntax and the id is a variable name so after the execution of a query I am going to clear all the text boxes. So, text box employee name equals to double quote start over and semicolon. Same with all the text boxes. Dot text equals to and the third one it says for mobile number. So, dot text equals to and also. I need to clear the radio button so radio button one dot checked equals to false and radio button two dot checked equals to false 
and the last one it is a combo box so combo box one dot we can use this uh, text property for it equals to clear so this way you can clear the text box the radio buttons and the combo box uh, I'm going to run this now so first I need to select this row it is a employee 6 female Rajkot etc details is there click on the delete button so record is deleted and it will be removed from the grid view control also because we have called the method named display and in the display method we have display the values in a grid view control so this way we can perform the delete operation in a C sharp again I am going to delete any row so it will be removed from the grid view as well as from the SQL server table thank you so much for watching if you liked it please subscribe my channel